All right, what's going on everybody? This video, we're gonna look at doing a scatter plot and adding a trend line to it. Uh, it's good for when you're doing uh, linear regression and statistics, when you, you know, you got some data and you're coming up with a, with a linear function to represent that data. So I've got two examples. I've got one that's, uh, that's gonna have a positive slope, which is this example, and I'm, and then the second example we'll do has a negative slope. And we'll calculate, and we're also going to calculate R, the correlation coefficient. So first, let's, let's create a scatter plot. So I'm going to highlight my data. These are my XY data. They, they represent something, but for this problem, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what X is or Y is. The whole point of this video is to show you how to do a scatter plot, add a trend line, get the get the equation and the correlation coefficient r. All right, so I highlight my data and then I go up here to insert. And here's my charts. They have recommended charts and then they have, you know, other charts here. But I'm going to pick this one. I'm going to insert a scatter plot. And so I click it and let me drag it up here and then what we can do is we can we can add things you know the the axes the titles okay so this is the axis titles uh, let's let's go ahead and add this so here i've got i'm just going to call this I'm going to call this y-axis. You can type in whatever you want. And this one I'm going to just type in x-axis. All right. And see, if you hit the enter, it'll expand it down. So, you know, when you get finished typing, just click out like that. And then we hit the, we hit the plus sign again, the chart title. So th this right here would be your chart title see how when I click it that check mark goes away but when I click it see there it is there's my chart title this is uh, I don't know uh, I'll just call it sample that'd be good enough and then let's see data labels I'm not gonna really get into this uh, the data labels you can you can add data labels you can center it on the point you can put it to the left, to the right. You can put it right above, below, uh, data callouts like that. That right there actually gives you the, the X and the Y coordinate. Okay, so, you know, if you want to put those on there, you can. And you've got more options. Um, you know, there's your positions there. Uh, values from sales. You know, you can select a data label so uh, not necessarily going to be these values but if you you know you can you can type in some you can type some stuff in here like for instance let's see let's just type in a b c d e f g h i j i think that's yeah so if we if we go back up here and we we select this and we go to these data labels let's go to more option uh, let's see where are we there we go all right so if we click value from sales see how this this right here pops up I can select this range here hit okay and see how it see how it gives you like the the c the a and all that stuff okay you, you can you can change it like that if you want to uh, but you know i i don't think i would i mean there might be some instances where that might come in handy uh, but you know for the most part if you want to use the data labels i think the most useful would probably be you know, just do the uh, just do the numbers here, okay? 
But for right now, for this video, I'm going to remove them. And then you've got uh, error bars. Uh, I'm not going to really get into those. You can you can add the error bars. You got the standard ones, percentage, standard deviation, and there's more options. But like I said, I'm not going to really get into those. Uh, you've got grid lines. You got the primary, uh, major horizontal. See if we can take those off, and there would be no grid lines. And then the same thing with the major vertical. And then you can add the minor. So you can see what that does. That that actually adds smaller lines in there. See, you see the difference that it's doing when I'm clicking it. And then the primary, minor, vertical. You can add those. You know that that might be something to add the vertical ones, but you know that's that's up to you. All right. And so that's grid lines. I'm just going to leave it like this for now. And then the the legend. Uh, you can add a legend if you want. Uh, I'm not going to really worry about that. As far as the legend goes, you know, you can change, you can change this up here. You can change this to, you know, what you want it to read. But, you know, for this video, I'm going to just leave the legend off. And now the, the main thing that I want to get here is the trend line. So for the trend lines, we can add a linear, which that's what we're going to do. You've got exponential, and you know, actually looking from that exponential, it doesn't. It looks like it. It fits the graph not too bad. Maybe, maybe even a little better than the linear when you look at it. But this is for the linear regression, so we're gonna we're gonna do linear. Then you got linear forecast. Uh, Two period moving average. We're not going to really talk about that, but let's let's add the trend line. And so let's go down here to more options. And let's see. Let's see. Trend line more options so this is what I want see what when, when I clicked it it was here and so you, you can change the color of it you know the, the the width transparency you know you can change different things about it uh, and then this one you can you know this right here is just kind of for effects and stuff you know you can you can do different things here but this right here is where we where we want to go so I've got the linear picked, and and you can you can choose exponential or linear. I mean that's what we're going to do is linear, and there's logarithmic, polynomial, power, moving average. All right. So now what we've got is we want we've got the trend line added, but what we want to do is we want to look at the equation that it gives us. And so when we click this display equation, there's your equation right there. See, Excel calculates it for you. Okay. Excel calculates it for you. And then we want to display R. But look what happens when we click it. What does it give us? It gives us R squared. It doesn't give us R. Okay. Now remember what R is it's a unitless measurement R is and, and what it gives us is it tells us how good the the line fits the data so you know the closer it is to one or negative one so if it's closer to one that means we're gonna we've got a positive slope on the line if it's and then if you get like a negative R value, that's going to be a negative slope, which is well, I'll show you in the next exam in the second example. But this does give us R squared, so we actually have to you'll have to calculate R, but that's easy to do because we know R is the square root, so we do the square root sqrt. You hit the equals and then sqrt point. 
that's so we're taking the square root of r squared and that is what 0.919184 so how close is that to one well i mean it's not far off i mean it's better than you know 0.7 or something like that but this right here as far as this data goes i guess you know you might could say it's maybe a moderate fit okay but i mean you, you can see how some of these points are you know they're they're a little ways away from the line going through here okay but yeah this is r and then and here's your equation right there it gives it to you right there so it's a good way to check your um to check your work if you're having to do all this by hand this is a quick way to do it just put your points in and do a scatter plot so now let's look at example two. Now I'm not going to go through all the chart features like I did on the first example. We're just gonna we're just gonna do a scatter plot, and then we are going to add the trend line and all that stuff. I'm not going to do any titles or anything like that. So let's just come here. Let's add a trend line. Let's go down here to more options and let's display the equation on the chart and display r squared now now i can you know i can move this around because you can see the it was kind of in the way some of these points were going over it but yeah here here we go we've got it it's y equals negative 0.4131x. Notice, notice this number in front of x, how it's negative. And then notice the number here in front of x, which is positive. Remember, see, all these are, this is just in the form y equals mx plus b. That's all it is. You learn that in algebra, y equals mx plus b. So m, in this case, our slope is positive. So, you know, we got a positive slope here it's increasing the lines increasing from left to right but when we go over here m and i don't know how good you can see that negative maybe you can see a little better right there but you can see that negative well we have a negative slope and you can see from left to right it's decreasing and of course once again there's our r squared and it looks like this one's a little a little worse and and, and think about it. You see this right here? You see this point right here? Look how far off that is. You see that? And I think that's the point 17.6. So let's, let's see what R is. R equals the square root of 0. 0.7141. And so you can see we're, we're even worse on this one. But I'm, I'm just wondering, this is the only point that's, that's out there. I wonder what would happen if I deleted this point. Let, let's erase it and, and let's see how this recalculates. So if I erase the point 17, 6, all right, so you can see here see how it changed and look how r changed just by redoing that oh i accidentally hit a all right there we go and so let's look at this equals well i wonder why it's well let's see let's take that out Okay, all right, let's hit equals the square root of 0.9393. And, and you see the difference in the fit by just taking out that one point, okay? It made a big difference, didn't it? And see how much better of a fit that is? And, you know, that point 17, 6, that might be, that it could have been some kind of data point that was 
unusual or maybe you know we might have did something wrong on on finding that value or something like that but we can put the value back in and then you see it goes back and and you notice it's just that one point that's the difference it makes of taking that one point out okay so you know and, and I didn't go over you can you can actually come in here and you can you can you got chart options you can you can change the way the chart looks and and all that stuff you know uh, you know you can do different chart types you can change how it looks and all that stuff and do all kinds of fancy things with it but I'm not going to really get into all that uh, so you know but yeah that's it you know you, you can play around with making the how you want your chart to look but I hope the video helped check out my other videos give me a like share and subscribe thanks for watching and I'll see y'all later